Welcome to Hunt Illinois. I'm going to take a few minutes just to give you a look at this brand new website. The website's formatted to work on desktop computers as well as mobile phones. It'll have a very similar layout. Um, at the top here you can see the Hunt Planner. Um, right now you're in the website tutorial. We have a list of quick links here where you can easily access that information. Then we have information by species that you can select. And then if you're interested in hunting programs, um, say if you're a new hunter wanting to know how to learn to hunt, uh, you can find that information here or find information on hunter or boater safety courses, you can find that in this tab. Then we have information on the conservation police here. Below you can see some upcoming dates for workshops or webinars that our partner organizations have coming up. Then we have information on the full seasons calendar, which would include the start and end dates uh, for various species, even by the zone that they're in. And also some deadlines and start dates of when permits uh, applications would be taken. And also we have a full events calendar here, which is this information, uh, but you can select uh, any month that you want. And you can look at maybe some events that are coming up in your area. Some of the other tabs we have here at the bottom include the information on conservation importance, uh, some of the benefits that hunting provides uh, to individuals as, as well as our society. And then you can find information on uh, the number of animals harvested by DNR site or county here. Uh, you can get reminders and you can also find contact information on DNR offices as well as some uh, federal organizations and agencies uh, that deal with hunting. So I'm going to point out a few tools here that I really think is going to, to help hunters a lot, starting with this hunt planner. And this is a really nice tool for anyone that's looking maybe for new hunting opportunities or for especially for new hunters. Um, it'll give you some instructions here. So maybe you know what site you already want to hunt. You could select that. Uh, but if you don't, maybe you're just looking in a region or maybe you want to get a county. Um, I'll just take region, for example. And you can select one or more if you want here. Um, you could also use this drop down menu if you want to do that. And so I will say, let's read regions two and three. And I will say, I want to hunt deer. Maybe I want to hunt turkeys as well. Maybe not. You can toggle those on and off. You can also say select all or reset your selection here at any point. And I will click next. And as you go, the results at the bottom here are going to populate based on what you've chosen so far. And so also, based on your previous selections, the next question is going to only give you options that are legal for those species. So let's say I want to hunt deer and turkey with a bow. I'll select next. And once again, it's only going to give me options that are related to deer um, bow hunting here, which is archery season. And let's say spring for turkey. And then I'm given a list here of all the different DNR sites that match my selection, which is quite a few in this case. Um, so let's say I want to go to Clinton Lake, for example. It's going to take you to Clinton Lake has its own page. Every DNR site is going to have its own page. And this information will replace the hunter fact sheets. Um, we've cleaned this up and spent a lot of time uh, making the language very understandable here. And throughout this website in general, you're going to find these little plus signs, which are just little toggles, and you can click those on and off. So instead of being forwarded to a different web page, you can just find that information here very easily. So um, in this case, it's going to give you information for this site. Any information that you see in this blue bolded text, this means it's hyperlinked, and it will take you to um, a different web page or um, part of the site that's related to um, what this information pertains to here. And so for each one of the DNR sites, we also have these categories um, like site characteristics. We give you information here. Uh, we've built a digital map that will be very useful to hunters. You can find, use that here or maybe you want a printable map. In many of our sites, we've provided uh, photos of the habitat on the site too. So if you want to know uh, what it looks like before you go, you can find that. Um, we're still working on those photos, getting those photos populated. So um, just be patient with us there. And some site-specific regulations uh, for Clinton Lake. 
So um, anything that has um, this at the top saying statewide regulations um, would apply to this site except for anything listed underneath here um, would be just specific to this site. So Clinton Lake in this example. Um, so these rules here are specific to this site. And you can find information for Clinton Lake here on, on deer hunting at this site, what you need, um, and turkey, etc. So in each DNR site is set up this way. And we've also provided you some amenities. Say maybe you want to camp over for the night or you want to use a boat. Um, this information will be there as well for you. And at any time you want to go back to the home page, you just have to click this uh, little shield icon here and it will take you back to the home page. So the next tool I want to show you that will be especially useful for probably new hunters is this licenses and stamps category. So we give you information here on just kind of licenses in general, um, stamps, etc. You can find that information here. And once again, these are hyperlinked. You can click these, these various things to go to the appropriate page. The tool I want to show you here is called the License Finder. And so if I click that, this will walk you through and show you exactly what licenses and stamps and permits that you need based on um, your personal demographics as well as um, what you're interested in hunting. So let's say I'm an Illinois resident. Uh, let's say I fall in this general category. If you do have military experience, you could select this and you could select your appropriate uh, experience. And then you can select if you are legally disabled. Um, are you a landowner or not? Um, do you plan to trap in addition to hunting? And once you get to the bottom here, you could select one or more. Um, so let's say I want to hunt deer. And it's going to give you the, the licenses and permits that you need uh, based on your selection. So um, for your age and your status, you could qualify for any of these different licenses you could buy. Um, you're going to need to absolutely buy a state habitat stamp because you're hunting one of these species here. Um, since I chose I'm hunting deer, it's going to give me uh, various options to buy uh, a deer hunting permit based on what I'm interested in. And you can select to buy those or apply for those various uh, permits there. So. so the next tool I want to show, especially for our uh, Illinois deer hunters here, is the CWD sampling tab. So what we've done here with this is not only provide information on what CWD is and, and some, uh, some more detailed information, uh, we've also created um, some information here on how you go about it um, based on if you're an archer or maybe you're a firearm deer hunter. Uh, but especially I wanna point out this map of sampling locations. So if we go to this, when this map populates, you will see this legend pop up here and you can see the different types of sampling stations that will that will take a CWD sample for you. Or maybe you have a, a spot where you drop off your, your deer head here. So you can zoom into your particular area and find a, an appropriate CWD sampling station. And if you find one, you can click on that information here and it will give you some of the hours and the street address and stuff where that, that sampling station is at. So a really nice tool for, for helping with, uh, with CWD sampling. And we, we certainly appreciate that. So let's go back to the home page. Now what I wanna show you is the hunt map. So this is a, a digital map that we've been working on. We're still doing a little bit of work on some of the, the boundaries for sites. So you'll see this disclaimer up here probably for another few weeks here while we finish that up. Um, but you're going to see instructions here on how to use this. Uh, it's very straightforward. And so I will select, I understand that. And so you can see all the different DNR sites here. And you can also see the legend here on the on the right side. You can move that around if you so choose. And you can toggle that on and off. Um, and then you can change the buttons up here by um, the species that you want to hunt. Um, and let's say I want to zoom in to somewhere in the middle here. Um, I could say archery season maybe, for example. And then you can see all of this area here in the orange color is open to archery deer hunting at these sites. 
And so you can change those and it will show you a colored depiction of where you can hunt in those particular zones for that species. So a very nice tool. You're also going to find things like legal definitions. Um, some of these quick links I think you'll find very informational as well. One of the other things here was we've given information by species. So let's uh, take deer for example. What we've done is provide these on toggles and it will give you a nice uh, rundown, much like the hunting digest, this table of uh, dates and hours. Uh, but also what licenses and stamps maybe you, you need to, to hunt deer. If you're a resident, um, it will forward you to the appropriate information here. You can check that out. And some of the uh, species specific regulations too. So archery is obviously going to uh, be a little bit different from say muzzleloader season here, the requirements. So you can find that. Uh, the management and the ecology of the species too. Each um, different section has information on that. If you're in interested in say harvest reports and things of that matter, um, disease. And each species also we've included in additional resources, um, including some really good recipes we think will be good for folks. Um, and also using different parts of the animal to maximize use of, of harvested animals. Um, so you can check that out there in that section. So that's a really nice uh, section if you want to find more information on a specific species or groups of species here. So, so at the bottom, uh, definitely go check out some of our information on uh, the events calendars here. Um, if you want to know more on how hunting is beneficial to not only individuals, but the environment, to the economy, et cetera, um, you can find that information here. And there's some really nice videos we've recently put together on that. Um, so definitely check out that section as well. So that's just a quick look at the website. There's tons of uh, great information here. So um, you get a few minutes, take some time, check this out, let us know what you think. And you know, over the next year or so, we're gonna be definitely adding more tools, improving this. So we look forward to your feedback and good luck this season.